Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. How many of you have ever gotten a phone call when you were in the middle of doing something important where somebody was asking you about your car's extended warranty? How many of you have gotten so mad at these calls that at some point in your life you thought to yourself, what would it cost, how would I go about only having a data plan on my phone so that I can just use Signal or Telegram for calling people that I care about and stop getting spam calls because 99% of the time I'm not using the normal phone anyway. Now, one of the things we've gone over on this channel many times is that automakers just seem to be getting more and more ballsy when trying to say that they own what it is that you purchased, and it's kind of getting annoying. You know, one of the things I went over in this video is that there was this one article I was reading from Car and Driver where it was talking about the slippery slope fallacy with car subscriptions. And one of the things I pointed out is that it's not a fallacy. They were talking about how, you know, this could potentially lead to people charging you a fee to unlock horsepower in your car. And Mercedes announced a yearly subscription. Not a one-time fee, a yearly subscription to unlock horsepower in your car. We talk about this law that got passed in Massachusetts where a crazy idea, when you pay $30,000 for the car, you get access to the data on the computer in your $30,000 car. I know, crazy, but after this was passed, we are still two and a half years into it and we are still fighting auto manufacturers that really want to keep their grip on your car. And this image that I came across that somebody emailed me from social media really kind of brings it home. So this is over here, purchase peace of mind. Mopar vehicle protection maximum care plans are factory backed and offer you peace of mind in case of a mechanical breakdown. Press the call button to speak to a specialist. Odometer must be less than 36,000 miles to purchase. Bluetooth call, okay, and X. You see, when I pay $30,000 for a car, I want what it says on the screen, peace of mind. You know what gives me peace of mind? When my car is not advertising to me. When I pay for my car, I don't want it to offer me a free 30-day trial to Spotify. And I most certainly don't want it to spam me with the same crap that I get three effing calls a day with for the past two years. This is absurd. This is disgusting. No. That screen is my screen. It is not a billboard for the fucking car manufacturer. And any car manufacturer doing this deserves to get kicked in the nuts. In every area of life now, these service providers and manufacturers think that everything belongs to them. It is this rapist mentality that just pisses me off with so many manufacturers and service providers nowadays. It's like, F what you said, F what you consented to, I'm taking your data. Oh, you did consent to it because it's on page 4,000 of our EULA. Oh, you know, I don't really care if you consented to having an advertisement on the screen of your vehicle. We're gonna use the screen of your card as a fucking billboard. This is going too far. Every single day, there's another little encroachment on it. And you may think this is silly. You may think I can just hit X or OK and be done. Why should you have to? Why do you have a pop-up ad on your car? What do you think? Do you think this is an overreaction or do you think this is just yet another one of the death by a thousand cuts encroachments on you being able to say that you own what you bought and paid for, not the manufacturer? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.